Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back to our second edition of Money Talk with Dave. Uh, and uh, boy, oh boy, what happened on Monday has got a lot of people freaked out. Um, you know, the stock market saw its biggest one-day drop in, in history, over 770 points um, on the uh, news of the rejected $700 billion uh, bailout rescue package, which still may go through. We'll have to wait and see what uh, goes through the House today. But a lot of people are wondering, what am I going to do with my money? I've seen my, my portfolio drop down, my 401 ks down. Um, I'm losing money. I'm scared. What's going to happen? Should I move out? Um, and I'm actually going to talk a little bit about some of that stuff today. Um, because it is pertinent and a lot of people are worried about it. So let's go ahead and jump into our first question that actually has to deal with, with just that situation. Dear Dave, my retirement portfolio is down more than 16% for the year and I plan on retiring in about five years. I heard a radio show promoting an asset management company that claims to really be outperforming the market. Should I consider moving my money? Man, <laughs> if I had a dollar for every time I've heard this question, uh, I'd be rich right now. Let me tell you, the first thing that you need to consider is what are you currently invested in? Um, that might be your biggest indicator there because if you're in uh, a really bad mutual fund or, or a, a family of mutual funds that have a poor track record that aren't doing very well, that have seen you know consistent losses, in, especially in, in what looks to be an inflationary market coming up here, then uh, maybe it might be time to move your money. But if you are in good, solid mutual funds that have a strong track record, large cap companies that are bound to come back, um, I might stay where you're at because, listen, you haven't lost anything until you sell your position. So even though your your 401k statements and IRA statements show that your value is down, your value of, of your portfolio is down, you really haven't lost any money because you haven't sold your position. You just own uh, a lot of undervalued mutual shares, which are sure to rebound if you have solid companies and, and solid mutual funds in there. So um, for most people that do have solid funds, and I would say that the majority of you probably do, I would not be going anywhere. I would just, you know, ride this out. And, um, you know, smart investors are actually pumping a lot of money because you can get these funds on, 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 on the cheap right now, uh, which honestly, that's what I'm doing. I'm putting extra money into my IRA right now because I'm, I'm getting my mutual fund shares at close to 20% off of what they were a year ago. So I'm pretty happy about that. Of course, asset management companies, uh, you know, they advertise on the radio for a reason because uh, radio dollars translate into revenue. And, um, you know, so these companies are in business to make a profit. So uh, make sure you take a look at the fees that these companies charge to manage your money. Um, you may be better off just doing it yourself. All right, next question. Dear Dave, I have about $9,000 in credit card debt that I just can't seem to make a dent in. Uh, my average interest rate is about 18%. I was thinking about using part of my student loan to pay them off. Do you think this is a good idea? Uh, some of you might be surprised at my answer, but uh, I do think it's a good idea. And the, only if you plan on doing something with that college degree once you get it. Um, if you plan on being a deadbeat and sitting on the couch and not doing anything and, and letting that student loan go to the wayside and, and go into default, then you know you might as well just do it with your credit cards. But um, you know, if you're going to better yourself and get yourself a job and move into the, uh, you know, the, 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 the professional sector where you have a chance to pay the student loans off, I think it's a great use um, of your money. Is the interest rate on the student loan lower? It probably is. 18% is awfully high. Um, so I would say go ahead and do that. And the last question. Dear Dave, my brother told me about a mortgage accelerator program that pays off your mortgage in less than 10 years without changing your normal spending habits. I looked into it and the software program that helps you do it is $3,500. It sounds too good to be true. Do you know anything about this program? Actually, I do. I've, I've researched this program. It's called a money merge account. Um, there's a couple companies that are out there doing it and basically it's sort of set up as a uh, it's kind of a, a, a multi-level marketing um, sales pitch um, that uh, that's the, the new wave out there is that a lot of companies have sort of adopted this and um, it's basically a lot of smoke and mirrors but what it, it can work uh, if you have a lot of discretionary income to do this with but honestly with that same discretionary income you can do the same thing yourself I ran the numbers uh, independently 
and uh, most of the hypothetical scenarios that they give you on this program show about a thousand dollars of discretionary income after paying all your bills most of the families that I sit down with do not have a thousand dollars of discretionary income after paying all of their living expenses but theoretically if you did have it you could put money into this money merge accounts basically uh, uh, an equity line of credit which you deposit your paycheck into and then pay your expenses out of it um, just get a bi-weekly mortgage uh, if you really want to pay off your host home soon or save the 3500 bucks um, you'll cut 10 years off your mortgage by doing bi-weekly payments you can cut another five years off by sending extra uh, principal in when you have the extra money and don't tie up your your money into some crazy scheme like a, a, a you know a, who wants to get another equity line of credit especially in today's housing market all right, so uh, definitely more to come. I'm really excited about all the questions that I've been getting. Please do not hesitate to ask my email, davecutler at pfscreationteam.com, and I will be back with another installment shortly because because uh, I've got to do it. So uh, really excited to be helping you all out there. Keep the questions coming, and uh, we'll talk with you soon. Thanks a lot.